What is happening, internet? It's your boy Jake here, welcoming you to another massive Match of the Day magazine interview. Today, we're chatting with Liverpool women's star Leanne Kiernan. Now, the forward, she may have only just joined the Reds, but she has been on flames form for her new side, scoring goals left, right and centre. If you like the video, give it a like. And if you're over 13, hit that subscribe button. But now, let's get to know Leanne Kiernan. Leanne Kiernan, what is happening? Hi, how are you? I am brilliant. Thank you so much for being here today, Leanne. How are you? I'm brilliant. I can't complain at all. I win last night and, you know, happy days. Exactly. You scored last night for your new club, Leanne. Liverpool Women's. You're their new number nine this season. How's that all been so far? No, it's been brilliant. A lot of people have been asking me, how do I like the north of England? And I've really enjoyed it. So before that, you played for West Ham. And before that, you were back home in Ireland. And you also played for the Republic of Ireland national team. Has that been amazing so far? Yeah, it's been amazing. Um, obviously, a big dream of mine was to represent my country. And I get the pleasure of doing that now. And what more could I want? Super, super exciting. But before we get any more of that content, we're going to take it back a little bit and take it back. When okay, do you remember okay. first playing football? Um, I reckon I was seven or eight. I used to play with the boys. I did a lot of um, I did a lot of different sports. So I was kind of in and out. I always had a football in my hand, though. Even if I went to athletics, I went somewhere else. I'd always have a football. So as a young, young girl, always. Amazing. Do you remember the first club you played for? Yeah, Baylor Shamrocks, my local team. That's amazing. And when did you first get scouted, get into a, a, a bigger situation? That's a good question. Um, a few people have asked me this before. So basically, my maths teacher used to bring me up with two other girls to um, this thing in Ulster. For um, It's kind of like, like a province kind of thing where they come together and we play against each other. And that's where you get scouted for Ireland. But I didn't actually have a club team at this stage because obviously when you get to a certain age, you can't play with boys anymore. You have to move to a girls team. So um, I got scouted there at that team and they said I need to go and actually join a women's team so I can play with Ireland. So that's how it all started. Amazing. So who was your footballing idol growing up? It's got to be Ronaldo, eh? <laughs> what did you love about Ronaldo? His consistency, his professionalism, he's just brilliant and come on, he shows up on the, on the big stages, doesn't he? Um, have you always been a forward or did you, uh, when you were younger, mix it up a little bit? No, I, have you seen me trying to defend? <laughs> <laughs> I think um, they leave me the highest up the pitch. To be honest, I always wanted to be a goalkeeper. Turns oh. out I'm not very good at it though. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're pretty good with your feet hitting that onion bag, so um, we'll stick with that for now. <laughs> I'll stick um, with that, yeah. We'll take it back to the game today then. So you played for a couple of clubs now in the WSL, now smashing it in the Women's Championship. Um, how do you get ready for a game? Have you got any pre-match rituals? What are you doing? Oh, good one. Um, so I have a roommate here that's also on my team. Um, and we usually have a routine. We get up, make breakfast, kind of get out, maybe go for a walk and listen to some music. And then we head to the game. Okay, I'm going to have to ask this question. It's my favourite question. That breakfast, what are you choosing? What are you thinking? What am I choosing? I'm pretty boring and standard. Either beans and toast or porridge. Simple. Mm. Beans and toast and porridge. Okay, I'm a porridge man. Um, okay, what do that. you go for on your porridge? So some raspberries, mm. honey, and a flake bar <gasps> over it. Ooh, it's man. a game changer, I'm telling you. After a game, you know, you've burned off all those calories, you need to you need to recover. What's your post-game snack of choice? So we usually get food after the games, but if I want to treat myself, like I love the Chinese. Ooh. Don't eat them that regular, but I really like them when I do. That's it, that's it. A bit of savoury and anything sweet to, to go in there? Sweet. Too. I just like chocolate. Chocolate and a cup of tea. Can't go wrong. Chocolate and a cup of tea, that is perfect. After you've, you know, you scored your hat trick, you sat down in your slippers, beautiful. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do some slightly different questions now. Have you got any pets? Oh, that's a great question. I have three dogs, 
I got a puppy in lockdown, a sausage dog. Her name's Willow Rose. And we also got a wolf. So it's a Slovakian wolf dog. We got that in lockdown also. So they're like best friends, even though one's ginormous and one's tiny. <laughs> and then um, I have one more dog that is a sausage dog, but he's about 18. So he just potters about the place, you know? That's it. I've uh, I've got a cat in the other room who's 18, and she uh, she loves no it. No way. She goes outside, but uh, <laughs> cute as ever. <laughs> Love that. Brilliant. Um, what about holiday destinations? Then? Now the world oh, opening up a bit more. Where are you dreaming of going to? Greece. Greece has been on my list for time. It just looks beautiful. The sand, the water, so bright blue. If I gave you two pounds and sent you into a bakery, what are you coming out with? I love this. Is, this is like a weird thing, but like almond croissants. It's just my go-to. I love them. They are amazing. It's such a good. You know what I mean? It's not too sweet. You don't get too sick of it, and it's just it's banging. It is. It's a little bit lush as well. You feel a little yeah. bit yeah. special. Exactly. Great, yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Following on from that, what's your favourite sandwich? Okay, a BLT. It's gotta be. Nice. But you gotta you gotta toast the bread and mm-hmm. put some butter, mayonnaise, smoky bacon. Back to football. Who is your favourite player in the world right now? I like Jack Grealish a lot. He's very skillful. I like his style. He's he's pretty honest. He comes across being very honest and just a good teammate too. Just everything. He just seems like a nice guy too. So I'm a big fan of him. Definitely. There's reasons, you know, all over the pitch why he's worth £100 million. So I think that's very, very Exactly. Funny. Exactly. Um, this one's tricky, okay? Can I get your dream okay. five-a-side football team? Who would you be picking? Men's, women's, oh, wow. legends, any players you want? That's a good question. So I'd, I'd have Grealish. Yeah, nice, creative. Ronaldo. Oof, finishing those. For the goals. Defender Jazz Matches from Liverpool. Nice, yeah. What's she bringing um, to the devil? Oh, she's just, have you seen her on the ball? Just so neat and tidy, can drive through everyone. And really? um, goalkeeper, Courtney Brosnan, one of my best friends. <laughs> nice. So are you getting in the team as well? Uh, I'll leave myself, I'll leave myself out and I'll watch the team play. Okay, so who am I missing? Missing one, maybe a midfielder. Missy Bowl, let's put her in there. Nice, Liverpool connection. Good skies for herself, do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Player of the month, you know, she's got to be in full You know how it is, yeah. <laughs> that, is it. that is a first team, that is. You know, you've got that Liverpool connection, maybe at the back creating, and then Grealish and Ronaldo to finish teams off. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Yeah, I thought that would be the answer. Easy. <laughs> Apples or bananas? Apples. Beanies or caps? Winter. Winter, it's got to be a beanie. A sunny day or a snowy day? Sunny. I think we've already asked this one, but I want to reiterate. Chocolate or sweets? Chocolate. What's your all-time favorite chocolate bar? Do you have one? That's good. I love a dairy milk Turkish delight. Random. Mm. I know a lot of people wouldn't say that. I like it, though. And I'm sure they don't sell it in England. I'm, I'm sure you can only get them in Ireland. See them both. You get lots of different flavours of the dairy milk. So I've got all the uh, creations now, but I haven't seen mm. that one in a while. So go scouting. Go scouting. Okay. okay. Last one. Xbox or PlayStation? PlayStation. Red or blue? Red, eh? Yeah. Of the reds. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely the correct answer. That was amazing. Thank you so much. I feel like we've learned so much. Oh, thank you for having me. It's been brilliant. No problem. Keep scoring those goals, Leanne, and I can't wait to see you at the biggest stages all over the country, all over the world. Yes, fingers crossed, hopefully. (laughs) Thank you. Wow, what a brilliant chat. Thank you so much again, Leanne, for speaking to us. I felt like we learned a lot there. I can't wait to see you scoring goals in the championship and the cup and everywhere else. And to try that flake over the porridge thing. That is revolutionary. If you've enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And if you're over 13, make sure you click that subscribe button. Until we see you again, happy football.